Let's take a look at the H-Sync or the horizontal synchronization signal and how it relates to how the electron beam actually traverses across the monitor, the CRT monitor. So in here, I'm showing you a CRT monitor with a black border. And the reason why is because older CRT monitors did have that black border. And it is actually part of the scanning pattern that we do. We do pass the electron beam across the black border too. However, we just don't show, we don't show any pixels over there. And the H-Sync signal is just a digital signal that actually, based on the value of that particular signal, it actually generates a sawtooth signal that actually moves that beam across. So let's see what is, what's the nature of this H-Sync signal. The H-Sync signal is just a digital signal. It's actually a periodic digital signal that goes between zero and one logic. And specifically, its period is actually between zero all the way to 799, which is 800. So if you think about it, the monitor in terms of like X and Y, it actually goes all the way from zero all the way to 639, which basically tells me it's actually 640. So why do we have, why do we need 800? So let's explore the signals to see. Why do I not just use 640? So we're gonna start, it's a periodic signal, so you can start anywhere. We're just gonna start at this point, and the reason why is going to be obvious very, sh very shortly. So we're gonna start, we're gonna say that this is actually where the zero is, and this is exactly the start of that particular uh, screen where I'm supposed to see something. It's basically the visible portion of the screen, not the border. And you set the H-Sync to one all the way to 639, which basically tells me that for 640, it's actually at one, and it's just basically traverses that signal or traverses the screen across. So the electron beam is just gonna be moving. And if you take a look at the, saw, uh, at the sawtooth in here signal, you see that basically that sawtooth is actually going all the way up. It didn't finish though. So what happens next? Well, what happens next is the electron beam reaches here and what happens is actually goes through the black border. So the black border is part of the scanning pattern. So, and for how long? Well, it looks through the right border for exactly 16 um, clock cycles. Okay, that's uh, a sp very specific clock cycles. It's not actually the system clock and we'll talk about it in a different video. But anyway, for now, we know that it actually goes from zero to 639, which is 640. Basically, it moved the, the, the electron beam actually moves in here. And then it lasts for a very short period of time, exactly 16. Um, and that's basically the right border. And this is sometimes is referred to as the front Porsche. It's actually the, fr um, the Porsche or actually um, the, the border in front of the scanning line. And then what it does is actually there's some sort of a time because the horizontal line has to go backwards in here. And this is what we call the retrace. And usually it's 96. Okay, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit um, more than the black border in here because it's a little bit longer. Okay, so if you see it in here, what's happening is the following. So from zero all the way to 639, that sawtooth is actually moving up. And then even the black border in here, it's still moving up. But the retrace is actually when the sawtooth is going all the way back to zero. Okay, so that re the retrace in here is actually where the sawtooth is going that all the way here. So what happens next? Well, what happens next is actually the retrace actually goes back to this particular one here, which is basically the back Porsche or the left border, and it actually goes from here to here for 48. It's the same exact 48 in here. It's just because we started in here, we're going to end in here, okay? Uh, but this particular portion here refers to the left border, and this one here is the left border. Remember, this is a, very, this is a periodic signal. And that's how it actually works. So if you take a look at the H-Sync signal, it actually goes from this particular point, or you can think about it from this particular point, it goes all the way upwards, and then it goes downwards, and it goes a little bit upward in here, which is the same as that one in here. And that's how it's generated. So if your digital system actually generate the H-Sync with this particular specification, um, your VGA monitor will generate that sawtooth correctly accordingly. Okay, so let's talk a little bit briefly about why did I start that zero from here? Well, as it turns out that the way we're gonna be generating these numbers is just going to be a very, very simple counter that actually it's an 800 modular counter that goes from zero to 799. And because we want to use that particular counter output, basically whatever it is, the value that we want, uh, we can use it to indicate the X, basically the location of the X. So if you put it in here, you're basically telling me this is a zero. So whatever you were in this particular location, you're actually a pixel zero in terms of the X. So now the counter doesn't only serve for H-Sync, it will also serve for actually telling me the pixel location that I want. So it will serve a couple of purposes and that's why we actually put the zero in here. Before I jump into the vertical synchronization, I just want to talk a little bit about what the H-Video is. The H-Video is a straight 
forward signal, it tells me where should I actually display a pixel, where I shouldn't. So if you take a look at actually here, you'll see that it'll actually display a video during or inside that white in here, the white um, rectangle. So it's asserted exactly when the H-Sync signal goes from zero all the way to 639, because this is actually where the meaning, meaningful pixels are. It's not asserted during the left border or the right border or during the retrace, because I'm not displaying any meaningful signals. So um, our, ultimate, uh, our ultimate controller will generate the H-Sync and will generate an H-Video um, on. The deflection sawtooth will be generated inside the uh, VGA or inside the CRT monitor.